Are you frustrated from working out because of the pain in your knees? Well, then you're gonna wanna stick around for this workout. Hey, it's Coach Becky here, and I get how frustrating it can be to try to work out, but everything hurts your knees. You wanna shape, you wanna tone, you wanna build that strength, but it almost seems impossible. Well, good news, I have something that's going to help you overcome this, and it's called suspension trainers. We have these suspension trainers that I'm showing you in this workout today, and the cool thing is, is they're actually half the cost of most of the suspension trainers that are out there. So make sure to grab yours for this workout you can go to that pin comment down below, click that link, grab your trainers along with some bonus workouts that go along with it. All right, the first move we're gonna do is an assisted squat. So one of the benefits of using these suspension trainers is it takes a lot of that pressure, that weight off the knees. It allows you to sit back more. So what we're gonna do is just start with a simple little squat. So you wanna hold on to the, the suspension trainer. Now don't hold on for dear life. I know I see people get like white knuckles from doing this. Have a relaxed grip. And what we're gonna do is sit back into a squat. So I want you to push your hips back, just like you're going down into a chair, but by holding on, I can really sit my hips back and get back a lot further than I could normally. And what this does is it takes so much pressure off the knees and puts it back here in your backside. So you're just gonna sit back and come up. Now you can go as low as you need to. So if you start to notice some pain right about here, that's okay, just take it to a quarter of a squat or a half of a squat, it really doesn't matter. Just getting some movement in those knees, even if it's a smaller movement, is gonna go such a long way in helping you to overcome some of that pain and be able to move pain free. All right, so just like that, let's do one more here together, sitting right back into those hips and coming all the way up. Awesome, and I would start about 10 reps of each of these exercises until you get more comfortable with them and then you can add in either 12 to 14 reps. All right, next up, we're gonna take this up just a little bit if you feel comfortable. Now, if you're kinda new and you're getting used to this, maybe just stick with the squat we did before. But to take it up a notch, what I like to do here is just lift one leg off the ground and you do the same movement. The reason I like this is now it gets you working a single leg, you can work your balance a little bit more, and it's just a little bit more challenging. But the same thing, it really allows you to sit back into those hips, really work those leg muscles, and takes a lot of that pressure off the knee. All right, so you're gonna wanna shoot for about 10 on one side, and of course switch and do the same thing on the other side. Now if this is too much for your knees, Go ahead and you can just go back to that first one I showed you where we did that regular squat, okay? So just an option for you there. <laughs> All right, next up we're gonna do a side to side lunge. So we're gonna take those feet nice and wide, okay? So this can be a good one as well because of the way of the, the movement is, it can take a little pressure off the knees and now we're using the straps to help even more. So your feet are wide, your toes are forward, okay? And we're gonna, I'm gonna step back just a little more and we're gonna sit back into it. So one thing to keep in mind too, is you can see my elbows are a little bit bent. So I'm not like way back like this. Keep a little bend in those elbows. So you're gonna have to find the distance that works for you. And then we're just gonna start sitting side to side. So like those squats, it's gonna really allow you to sit back into this movement. Okay, and as you can see, my knee stays far back. It's not coming way forward, like it might be if I just do some body weight. So sit that hip back right there, okay? And just like I talked about with that squat, do what works for you. If you can't sit that low, keep it high, right? It's better to do something and get that movement than to do nothing, okay? So one more here, take it up, good. Now if you struggle with lunges, I'm gonna give you a lunge version to try. So what we're gonna do is kind of the same idea. We're gonna use the straps for assist to hold on. We're gonna take it to a split lunge. Now this may still hurt some people's knees, so if it does, just stick with the other moves that I've already showed you. Okay, from there we're gonna hold on, take it down nice and slow, bring it back up. So I'm trying to keep my upper body nice and tall, my shoulders back as I do this. I'm dropping down and I'm coming back up. Okay. I like doing this stationary at first to see how your body feels, and it's gonna work that balance, so it's gonna be challenging for some people. So this is a good way to start with lunges and just see how your body feels, see how those knees feel. Okay, all right, we're gonna switch sides, same thing, other side. So one thing to note, I'm bending that back knee and I'm taking it towards the floor, okay? 
So sometimes I see when people do lunges, they tend to lean forward. So what I like with this too, it's gonna make you feel nice and strong in this tall position. Down, up, and just keep your gaze forward. Just like that. Let's do one more together on this side. And then we're gonna take it to some upper body stuff. Cool. All right, so next we're gonna do a row. And the reason I like this is because sometimes all that leaning over can be a lot on the knees. So here we're actually gonna just, your legs are gonna be nice and straight with this move, which I like. So we're gonna come onto your heels, okay? And you're just gonna lean back. And then you're gonna drive your elbow. So I'm almost like, it's like a plank. Like I'm nice and straight from my heels to my shoulders. And from there, I drive my elbows back behind me and squeeze. Now with this, you can adjust. The more I come down on an angle, the harder it's gonna get. Okay, the more I come up on an angle, the easier it's gonna get. So you can adjust to make it work for you. But key things to focus on, keep those elbows tight by your side, drive them back, squeeze those back muscles, and make sure to breathe the whole time. All right, one more together. Good, just like that. Cool, all right, let's flip it over. So that hit the back side. Let's get to the front side, let's work that chest. Now we're gonna do a push up on here. And again, if you have bad knees, right? Sometimes getting down, up and down on the floor can be tricky. Or if you have to do push ups on your knees, right? That all can aggravate the knees. This, you can stay standing, which is amazing. So we're going to flip it over, just like you would do a push up on the floor. We're gonna get into a plank position. Your hands start nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna bring our chest down towards the bottom of the straps and then press back up. Now, like with that row, if you're like, whew, it's a little too much, do a higher angle. Higher angle will make it a little easier for you. Lower angle will make it harder. Okay, and then push those arms nice and straight at the top. Okay, elbows come out to the side. And then you can see my hands are in line with my chest here. So keep that in line with your chest. Try to keep your hips down. It's easy to want to stick our booty out and do it this way, but I really want you to get a nice straight line from your shoulders down to those heels. Down, press it out. All right, we're gonna do one more here together. Down, and then we're just gonna take it to a plank. So plank can have the same issue as a push-up, right? So getting up and down off the floor, having to be on your knees, all that kind of stuff. So just like the push-up, we can take this into a plank hold, okay? So you can get at whatever angle you need to to make this challenging, get a nice straight line from your hips, sorry, from your heels to your hips to your shoulders, and then nice straight arms out in front of your shoulders, okay, and just hold it there. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but everything on me shaking just a little bit, because man, this stuff really does work. So it's gonna work your core, your buns, your whole entire body, and you're just gonna, just gonna hold it here. If you wanna add on a little, you can take some hand movements in there, just to make it a little bit more challenging. But if you're starting out, maybe just start with that hold, get that belly working. Awesome. So, you know, start with 20, 30 seconds. It's a great amount of time to start with that plank. Whew, that was a good one. All right, I get it. It is, can be so frustrating to work out when you have bad knees. That's why it's gonna be so important for you to grab this suspension trainer. You're going to need it to get what you need from your training. It comes in this small little package right here. Super easy, uh, small, super easy to set up. You don't have to have a big rack like this. You can just throw it in a doorway. And these things are half the price than many of the other ones out there, but just as good, if not better. So go ahead, click that link in the pinned comment below grab yours today. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.